Is that your last Gotcha. Week? How about you? Nice. It was, yeah. So you're done for the day at uh, quarter to 11. Yeah, but don't tell people don't that. Tell We've anyone. been grinding here for hours. I've heard 16 hour days. Yeah, in just miserable. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. Really? Every other day. <laughs> Let's be honest, yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you, but what's the best part about being on, on daytime for you guys? Um, the cash. <laughs> She always goes to that. We all think that, but no one says it. Um, I'm truthful, folks. Yes, yes. I am a liar. (laughs) Um, I just love having a job that I wake up every day, and I have so much fun here, and I can uh, provide for my family and give them the kind of life that, uh, you know, I always wanted. So it's it's great. I'm super blessed, and I, I really just love my job. I absolutely love it. I myself like waking up every day. I'm not such a big fan of the waking up part. <laughs> How early? Well, does the that alternative start? sucks. Yes, you don't want to just sleep forever. <laughs> well, or die. That would suck too. So yeah. But the day, the first day, 17 and a half years ago, when you came on, is that? Did yes. you expect you'd be here 17 and a half years later? No, no clue. I honestly was just like this little knucklehead, and then I thought that every day they'd be like, fit, really figure me out, be like, what are we doing with this guy? So. Uh, no intentions whatsoever of staying here this long or had any, you know, idea that I could make a career out of it. But it's just, man, it's so much fun. I love it. So happy. And for you, you've had a long run as well. I have. I'm not as happy as he is, though. I, Funny. Rarely people are. I am ecstatic really at all weird. times. I just <laughs> smile and sing and laugh. And yeah. um, I could see your serious actors, though, when the cameras yeah. go up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. oh yes. sir. To the grind, Let sir. me tell you. you. Know Leslie, is it? Yes. Leslie, mm-hmm. serious. Ultra, ultra focused. Fantastic. At all times. And fantastic yeah. actors, I may add. One of us much more so than the other. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so the fact that you've had this great run, your character's... I haven't been a, on as long as Mr. Morrow. Mm-hmm. Seniority. Um, yes, yeah, seniority. Lots of it. Mm. In fact, when we're done with this, I would like you to go make me a breakfast burrito. I, I will do that, sir. I can do that because of my seniority. Absolutely, we'll do that, sir. Are you at all like your characters? Um, no, Nick is kind of serious. He could be a tool, too. <laughs> He's kind of serious, uh, very um, like ambitious and like... Can, intense, like things kind of set him off quickly. I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm super laid back. Um, uh, Phyllis is tightly, tightly wound. Crazy person. <laughs> she's a crazy Cuckoo person. Cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Yeah, yeah, she's tightly wound, is what she is. Damaged. <laughs> Damaged. She has a lot of baggage. Yeah, but I think, don't you think, as we've played it for a long time, that aspects of our own personality go into the character a little bit. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, I have no idea who I am anymore. When I'm <laughs> no, we, we really I think don't I'm know. Nick, Joshua. Sometimes I think I'm Neil. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get into that. That's a whole other tape. If you have an extra one, we can get into that later. <laughs> but uh, for this... Please, yeah, please, no. please. Yeah. Do you guys have much of a say where your character goes? Yes, we do. Yes. That's a no. I yeah. have none whatsoever. Uh, we have, yeah. we have <laughs> so much control over that. It's amazing. Do you like the most far-fetched scenarios, potentially? Or do you prefer when you have a calm period? What's the best part of, of playing the character? When um, someone a crisis happens, is yeah. it the most challenging? You know, I don't. The big giant crises, I don't think. Crises. There you oh, go. Oh, crises. Yes. See. Like cacti. Yes. Or opossums. <laughs> uh, the big giant humongous stories. I don't think that's kind of what we do, the best. I think what we do the best is, the intimate. You know, but that's what characters. you do the best, Mr. Morrow. The intimate. Yes, I do the intimate very well. Hence your reputation. Yes, yes. With the, uh, the personal relationship stuff, I think that's what we really do well. Uh, when we take things on this giant scope, sometimes it gets a little out of, I think, what we do best. But uh, you need to do that at times for the fans. What's the craziest thing that's happened to your character? Um, for you. What has Phyllis done? When you tried to run people over with your car? I think, yeah, but it didn't really happen to her. My character isn't much of a person that things happen to. She she does them right. more. Mm-hmm. So she tried to run um, over Cricket with her car mm-hmm. and missed. And we totally forgot about it now. Yeah, right? I like that you just said, girl. Mm. Girl. <laughs> um, 
but she missed and she got Paul, but she only ran over his penile area and made him impotent. And there goes the whole interview. <laughs> oh, I said penile. No, it's all good. Like it's... like penal, penile code. Like the penal code. Yeah, it's just, there's no saving it now. We, <laughs> we jumped the shark. Listen, Canadians have a very good sense of humor. They do. They, uh, we're like this. They understand yeah. me. And French Canadians, forget about it. I kill there. I kill in Montreal. <laughs> Speaking of which, Canadians are loyal fans. It's, yeah. it's on every day, 4.30 yes. and 5.30. Yes. Uh, I do the news right after, and the first question I go, hey, you're the guy from the news. You're on right after the y and The y and So sure. you define me. Yeah. So that being said, you. your message... I d- we define I'm you. I'm just kidding. Your message to the viewers in Toronto and Canada. Um, just Toronto? No, Canada. Okay. Toronto. We're, I'm specifically from Toronto, but it's yeah. obviously okay. Canadian. Thank you for everything. Uh, most loyal fans anywhere, for sure. I've been up there about 804 times, and uh, every met, time... You met a lot of nice ladies back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Back in about. the day. Uh, best fans ever, and we thank you. Because you guys are the best. You, uh, you, uh, <laughs> you, guys, you are awful. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are amazing. You guys are Is incredible. any of this usable? It's all good. We, oh, can I ask you a serious question, though? Well, yeah. we're, I'm, it oh, makes sorry. you think I'm joking. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> let's talk about daytime dramas and what has happened to other shows. Oh, let's not. Just quickly. Did, sure. okay. well, oh, quickly. Does it... Right. Does it <laughs> Does it? Uh, how does it affect you when you heard that colleagues at another network, several shows were cut, um, and the industry, and wh- what is it that's happening? It's sad, uh, you know, because I love this medium so much, but you can see that it's struggling, you know? Um, a lot of friends are on those shows that got canceled, and hopefully they'll be able to uh, find jobs and, you know, be able to take care of their families as well. On this show? On this show? Oh, <laughs> or they'll, or they'll sure we'll add them here. at some point. <laughs> no. um, but it's tough, you know. I mean, it's this model is not what it used to be. You know, it's it, it needs to be needs to to change as, uh, along with the times. Mm-hmm. Uh, people's viewing times and patterns and preferences have all changed. You know, if you don't evolve along with that, then you'll be in trouble. You just need to to do a good show. Ultimately, I mean, there are a lot of things to do now on the computer and uh, you know, and and cable and and, and life and and if you make a good show, if you put out a good product, I, I really, really believe people will watch. And so I, I think that we're as responsible in all of that and all of the dwindling ratings as um, as anything, you know. Uh, you know, ratings for every show across the board. Especially your performances. Like I want to. I want to. Way wanna, down. Point yeah. out your performances. But back, you know, we used to have 13 aren't up channels. To par. Right. Aren't up to par. Five, and you're still backs. talking while we are. Do me a yeah. favor. Show me the script. Yeah. Sure. Just hold show it up the there script. for me. She doesn't work. use it much. <laughs> yeah, apparently uh, not. There, there it is. is. But so, so <laughs> how long? How long does it take for you to memorize that, that scene like that? Do you do you do it the night before? How Josh. Does it work? I, <laughs> Josh. Both of you. I do it the night before, and um, I kind of work it. Actually, the night before, I work out kind of where I want to go with it. And um, and then and then perfect the lines with my partner here. So you yeah. rehearse in advance? Uh, yeah, yeah, we do. I'm so unprofessional. I learned this about ten minutes before I don't, went on. Don't say that. No, but I have a, a, a good short-term memory now, so I can afford <laughs> to do that. Um, yeah, I don't recommend that. No. But uh, you guys it, it works for it him. Works for me. It, it's sort of you know he's been on the show a long time and you sort much of much longer than her. Much longer than I. We went over that. It's true. Yeah. And and uh, you get in um, significantly longer actually. Yeah, yeah. it is significant. Hence it the breakfast burrito. Yes. Um, and yeah, and but he, he thinks it's easier to memorize. That's why he's making fun of himself. But yeah. but he can memorize something very quickly. And um, one thing I want to say because yeah, I've done this a bazillion times, yes. ask them where they when they what they do with the scripts in between yeah. scenes because they stash them oh. and they pull them out from like underneath the vase Sofas, and stuff like that. Yeah. So so what do you yeah. do with the script? Under when, rugs, with, there's a good one. Under rugs. Uh, normally I've never the main. Done under a rug. I have the normal. The best one is under the pillows in the couches. Yeah, so pillows in the couches. 
if you if there is a set around here with a couch, I will bet you one hundred American or Canadian dollars, however you choose. Canadian, I'd go could, with Canadian. You could it's lift stronger. up the cushion or the pillow and find a script from somebody, guaranteed. Love scenes easier or hard to do? Oh, so hard. easy. Well, they're not hot for us because Oh, there's... bullshit. Oh, sorry. You're going to have to bleep that out. That? No, they're going to have to bleep me. Listen. Boop. Boop. Listen. Uh, don't listen to him. Listen to me. They're super fun. Can you imagine having a job where you get to go to work and make out with a hot chick, Leslie? Or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in my case, not a hot chick, a hot dude. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. What a great job, folks. Look at him. For Listen, God's sake, I'm not I get to kiss him. And you know, not only that, his wife is okay with it. I mean, come on. And then we leave later, and there's no, well, did that mean anything to you? You didn't call. How come you didn't call? <laughs> well, all right. Okay, whatever. There's none of that afterward. We just, hey, how you doing? And then do it again. And then I take all her clothes off and play with her body on exactly. television. What is bad about that? No, that is I'm a fantastic saying, job. I'm not saying it's not great. <laughs> But it's fantastic. they see the music and the lighting and, you know, whatever. There's 20 guys, you know, eight feet from you. We don't just care about them. Watching, going, hurry up. It's lunch soon. So it's, I think I think that they do dig our, our, our love hot? scenes. Oh, of course I do. It is hot, always. Do you ever get uncomfortable removing all your clothing in front of no. me? No. No way, Jose. <laughs> Thank you. We peaked. Yeah. Now, let's get to that breakfast burrito stat. Leslie.